Common sense isn't common. Let's talk about it. Do you think you're above average person? Do you think you're above average person? Do you think you're an above average person? Do you think you're an above average person? Um. Now, when people travel, they usually have a place or something to do. They make something known to them so they know what to do. It might be common sense for one to might actually just, you know, take out their phone and search up things to do in Boston, places to go in Boston. Not me. Yeah, it is kind of stupid, but in a fun way, I kind of like it. I like having the adventure. I like having not a single idea of what I'm gonna do. It's the little adventure, but it's not common sense. I remember when I was 14 years old and I was just talking to some of the girls. They'd be talking to just whoever guy and they would always say like, oh, I really like him, but this guy's asking me for nudes. This guy's asking me to send, want pictures of my body, videos of me touching myself. And a lot of guys, me included, would say, just block him. No, but he's really nice and I don't really want to do that because that seems kind of mean. And they would make all these different excuses for why they didn't want to block him. And to me, I just thought, bro, just fucking block him. It's common sense. And it doesn't make sense to me that it bothered me more than it bothered them. <coughs> okay, this is not appropriate. You know, in middle school, that was probably the first time I really saw that common sense isn't common. Whee! You know, this is really low and this is actually just hurting my knees. And it raises the question, are people stupid or are people simple? And I, I put one three-pointer in, he was like, never do that ever again. And never played ever again. I think I got it, I think I got it this time. Ugh. Dang it, I overshot it. You know, all these people who are, who don't have common sense, maybe it's not their fault. You know, maybe they grew up in an environment that that's all they really knew. Now. I try to be as empathetic as I possibly can. Some would say I'm very empathetic. I just say, I like to try. But to these people who, who just don't learn, who don't have common sense, I think you learn enough life experiences to realize you have no one else but to blame but yourself. All they knew is just this, their common sense. But their common sense is not that common because to them, they just think, oh yeah, everyone thinks this way. I mean, that is what common sense is. Common sense is literally just, yeah, this is normal. Because if I went through it, then so did everyone else to some extent. In life, there's the hard way, and then there's the harder way. I personally would rather choose the hard way than the harder way, because the harder way is not learning the lesson the first time, or the second time, or the third time. It's learning it the eighth time, or the 15th time, and you, you just don't learn from your mistakes, and it's really stupid. A while back ago, I did some interviews, street interviews, asking people if they think they're an above average person. Not surprisingly, a lot of people said, yeah, I think I'm an above average person. Do you think you're above average person? Do you think you're above average person? Do you think you're an above average person? Do you think you're an above average person? Um, I actually do think I'm an above average person, just a little bit, but not like an egomaniac way. Like, I just think I kind of try and go above and beyond in a lot of ways and try to be like really positive and have a lot of fun with things. So in that way, yes. Oh, uh, but does it sound bad that I say yeah? Just like a little bit. I don't say it out loud though. How so? Um, I think... <laughs> I would say, I guess in some areas, yeah. I have certain traits that others don't possess, not like in like a bad way. In some areas, maybe not, but yeah, overall, I think I'm, I'm in some areas, I think I'm above average. What are you better at than other people? What I'm better at? Yeah. Um, that's a good one. I'm gonna say I am because um, I, a lot of people are watching me right now on the internet. Hi. I just feel like, you know, personality wise. Better at just being a nice person in general and be more compassionate than I think I see my peers do. do. I, care, I think I care a lot more for than what other people think. Be honest, do you think you're an above average person? Yes. How so? <laughs> um, I don't know. How's your personality better? Um, I think a lot of people, I think like as an extrovert, I'm good at like making friends and a lot of people aren't. What things are you better at than most people? Um, like not showing my emotions and like not going to therapy. Ooh. Now, I don't think I'm better than people. I just think I have skills that are better than other people's skills in some category and to some degree. But if you were to say, hey, Spencer, make a TikTok video and make you go viral, I could do that for you. But I don't necessarily think because I could do that, I'm better. Or because I don't go to therapy, I'm better than you. Is that really above average? Does that really make you special? But to them, they think, yeah, I'm better than people. Dang it. Whoa. Got him.
I saw this video the other day. It was a street interview type video. And the question of the video was, what should the limits of freedom of speech be? It, it was exactly what you imagine it to be. Because you see a whole bunch of different answers. And there's this one guy who said, oh, I'm all for freedom of speech and I love freedom of speech. But we should ban Trump, we should ban Andrew Tate. Whoever did not align with his political beliefs. Now you can say what you want about Andrew Tate or Trump. By definition, you censoring these individuals, that's not freedom of speech. That's just wanting to reassure your own political beliefs and opinions just to make sure that you yourself feel woke, you feel right yourself. Social media is especially worse now. Social media isn't even about being social. Social media is really just following the woke narrative. I think it's a harsh way of living. If, if everyone thinks that, yes, they're an above average person, does that really make them above average? Does that really make someone special? Now I'm looking at a lot of the comments on my TikTok and my Instagram, and a lot of the people say, Spencer, how do I be more confident without actually having to practice going out and talking to people? Do I really need to explain the common sense right there? I'm going to anyways because why not? You literally just go up to people and talk to them. That's, that's all you do to practice social skills. You practice it. Have faith you're gonna miss it. Dang it. Like, here's some common sense that I think are common, but really aren't common. I think people of color can be racist. You have all these other people saying, well, systematically, because people of color have been oppressed for so long. No, people of color can be racist. It doesn't matter the color of your skin. If you're racist, you're f***ing racist. I think bullying builds character. I'm not saying bullying's good. I'm saying it builds character. Men and women are not valued equally in terms of status in society. Due to what makes a good man or what makes a good woman, they're different. They're not the same, and we shouldn't treat them as if they are. If you're in college and you can't eat vegetables, you just don't put it in your diet because it's gross, it's green. You're a loser. Grow up and just eat the greens. It's... Why? Why are you not eating your vegetables? But this isn't common sense. It's this huge sense of entitlement that everyone thinks that they are right and that they are better than other people, that they don't even really want to accept other people's beliefs. In society, we're trying to get rid of common sense. We're trying to put a safety net and a blanket over why everyone should not have their feelings hurt. But the truth is, if we can't agree on stupid shit, which is not actually stupid shit because there's so many different opinions on different issues, what do we do now with no common sense? What is common sense at this point?